Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another MNVL stream. We're into week two. We've said goodbye to week one. Finally, we're starting to get a wonderful start to this season. And ooh, it's got some exciting matchups here today. We got two matches, not three, just two, uh, coming at you soon. Our first match could be an interesting one between Big Lake and Foley. Right, I'm really excited to see what we have here because Big Lake's been known for um, a kind of a very dominant performance in MNVL because you have people like Beetle and then uh, being a really star of Big Lake, I want to say, because, again, just first and seconds across the board from that guy. So I'm really excited to see how Foley can kind of match up with that. Yeah, Be Beetle got a lot of big performances under his belt. You know, had that first place a while ago. Last crew battle, so, you know, looking for being the defending crew battle champion. But uh, more than that, though, also got two kind of heavy hitters backing him up in CJO Luigi and Ash Awesome. But, you know, yeah, anything yeah, it could technically happen. I mean, fully, right. they have some recognizable names there. I still remember commentating... Some of these guys' matches, I mean, met the meta, Kerbo, Sand, Wolf. So it's not like it's nobody's, but sometimes you got to understand your – it's like – yeah, it's it's like the 16-17 uh, like Warriors. I mean, you got Curry, Durant, Draymond, Clay. Like, you just got the whole murderer's row coming at you. And then on Foley side, it's kind of like – it's like the 16-17 Timberwolves, man. You really don't got much in the way of people. It's just yeah. you kind of recognize, but like, really, the power of Big Lake right now as a crew is just unstoppable. Retweet. Yeah, man. You don't sure. know basketball. Sport, do you? Sports, you don't know ball. Yeah. Why, yeah, I, don't I, think I, you know I ball. do not ball. You've got, you've caught me, uh, you've caught me blind here. Do, can I, can I be honest with you, Gummy? Uh, something that I'm really trying to figure out right now is, um, so on, on OBS, right? My yeah. camera is centered. My camera in the little preview centered. I'm skewed on uh on on uh on what we're looking at right now, right? I feel the same way. It it is kind of like that. Wait, we're gonna have we're gonna have a tech support moment trying to figure this out. Wait. Right, like I I'm like I'm not trying to like kind of yes. like push things aside, but like Too you get far. what I mean? Like, like what's happening to me? <laughs> my, oh, camera, my camera what? exists. No. What? My camera exists on the outside of this wall. There's a whole Kingdom Hearts poster on this side of me. There's just nothing. So, it's like, just... I guess, you know, I guess I'll just kind of lean like this. You know what I mean? Yes. I'll, hit him, I'll hit him with the thug, like, the thug, like, slide, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to you wanna hop in on the slide action with me? Oh, the slide action? Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him, with the, hit him with the lean. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, no, but I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to have these uh, matches for us. Um, fully in SSBU. Oh, I mean, in Big Lake in SSBU, right? We've seen them uh, time and time again, yeah. right? They they are they're pretty prominent names within MNVL in terms of Smash as a overall the concept, if you will. So I'm kind of excited to see where we can go from that because, like you said earlier, Gummy, it's a big. I mean, Big Lake's just got those results. Yeah, and it just. Ugh. I, I I don't know. I make I, I love me some upsets. I really do. But uh, I don't know. We'll have yeah, to find out. A, it's an underdog underdog story right now for Foley. Yeah, it is gonna be stop. A little difficult. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Pause. You fixed it. Pause. You fixed it. You fixed uh, my I'll, issue. I'm gonna be honest. For a moment, it looked like you were getting rotated on the axis right there. Yeah. No. I I felt like I was on a carnival. Don't worry. We're yeah, good. Just... I'm glad to know that I was getting a uh, gaslit so hard and thinking it was a me thing i it, I'm, I'm very happy to know that it was actually not my fault at all my camera oh. is actually perfect and everyone else is wrong i'm glad thank we can you, applaud thank that you. Yeah, yeah no thank you of thank course you. of course of course also uh shout outs to everyone that admitted to north star 2 yesterday it was i had a super fun time being able to commentate that me and gummy were there commentating top four and throughout the uh entire stream uh we were pretty much there the entire time on on the mics so it was really fun to be able to uh, see everyone, um, and I had a great time. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I mean, I had a great time. I know we had a great time. Top four North Star mm -hmm. didn't get to commentate much else together. We were kind of we were kind of thrown apart for being in uh, different waves. But hey, you know what? At the yeah. end, they couldn't they couldn't keep us where they couldn't stop the dynamic duo. Exactly. Look, fate they can't. We're fated to commentate something together, right? Of course. 
because uh the entire time while i was trying to commentate i was getting ripped as i was getting ripped from your lovely arms gummy i was getting like you know like how like thanos got like dusted everyone away it was me having to go play sets i was just like i was getting ripped away into my losers uh run i was just let me just let me sit down please yeah. i mean hey something else you also got to talk about though in mm. this kind of big tournament, you had some big MNVL names, some big MNVL kids show up. True. One of which we're about to see play today. Beetle had a pretty solid performance. I'm pretty sure getting 17th uh, in some esteemed company at that spot. So you know what? Congratulations, Beetle. He had a pretty, pretty solid run. Gonna have to, you know, he's riding high. Right, no, Beetle's improved a going. lot recently. Yeah. Um, during, like, my little birthday stream, dude was playing, like, better than, like, uh, Truth in, like, uh uh it was the other one it starts with a d uh the mn the mn no hang on trust me why can't i dadsy thank you he was playing really like well on par with them i'm i kid you not like he was doing really well against like mariah i mean let's not in, get a little crazy he... here no I no really no I, it, no you know what hey guys we're hopping right into this you named two great clouds right there but going into it, it looks like people you know, going this argo route and going out a here. Let me make it out all that. But you know, I'll let's, 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 let's him up with the Just uh, won a major. First major all time, so Corin is kinda out there right now. I guess, but like I don't know. I, I'm a big Corin uh fan. Uh one of the first characters I played in this game. It was just I don't know, man. Clouds, your cloud's looking pretty good. Like you finally started making me be a, a beetle lover with that cloud, and and you just rip it away from me with the corn. Yeah, that's exactly kind of what's going on. Okay, hey. there you go. nice, nice grab at the shield there. I love a good corn. You know, corn's well, great. Yeah. And just uh, in this specific context, I would have loved to see that cloud. Yeah, kind of some rough, kind of raw S match there. Can't really be throwing out stuff like that. Right, I, gotta... I get it. It's a really nice kill move, um, but let's let's pause for a minute. Yeah, let's 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 take a moment here and say, hey, we gotta throw out some normals here first. Otherwise, you're gonna hit with something like that. Beetle takes that first stock, early lead here for Big Lake. I mean, all they really gotta do at this point is just kind of you know keep the status quo. Beetle, you can already kind of tell, not really playing to his fullest potential, going the corn instead of the classic cloud or even a different secondary. So. Interesting to see why, but you know what? Hey, if it's working, why stop? And that's kind of what I, my thought process was, right? Like, you're doing a great job already. You're making a little bit of questionable things in neutral, if I'm not going to lie. But you know what? You, I'm, I'm assuming you're still learning this character. There's still a couple, you know, uh, like, bumps to iron out. Uh, and I'm seeing a really, like, solid start for a uh, presumably secondary uh, from Beetle here. Like, we're able to... Uh, uh, kind of change up our mix-up timings on our recovery with that side B, especially on a, a stage like Kalos, right? Yeah. And by the way, uh, last week we were a little uh, confused on whether Kalos was a starter or not. Uh, it turns out it is, only in crew battles. Which, you know what? It's a little confusing to me, but you know what? I'm down to run it. We're getting, we're getting kind of creative here. Right, no, we're... M and VL. If they were known for one thing, it's innovation, right? So, in, in innovating the Midwest rule set, I'm about it. Okay, but now big lead here for Beetle. However, at 176%, he needs it. Oh! Yeah. Holding wait, onto wait. that stock would have been nice, but you know what? Kind of just throws it away. That can't really feel good. Maybe an opening here for you, Wolf, but eh, you know, it's it, questionable. It was, it was like a bad apple, right? You started to finally understand why it was like going bad. Anyway, people were starting to understand, oh, hang on. Well, maybe I can just get rid of, get rid of it, right? And with that back air, something that uh, Byleth so far out just closes out the first game. Yeah. Closes out the first game. Beetle sitting pretty with two stocks. Needed, I'd say, a clean three stock there to really kind of just set an early end to this game. But, yeah. I mean, hey, you still got the lead. You still got two heavy hitters sitting behind you. So, can't really I complain about it too much. I mean, personally, it's 1-3 uh, in terms of that game alone. I think you're up a... I think you're up a whole lot um, in terms of stocks wise. You only lost one. I think we're chilling personally. Yeah, I mean you're kind of big chilling. Also, it's important to note 
Uh, you threw out that Corrin early, but however, you can't change your character again. That is the rule set. You're kind of locked into that Corrin. So going to have to be locked into the secondary. If something big comes up, the real kind of heavy hitter you're worried about can't switch off to go to the cloud. So kind of interesting strategy here with that one. You know, going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But, I mean, honestly, what can you really talk about it? It's, you know. Right, like you're getting a little Beetle. bit. It's Beetle. The Corrin's cooking. What can I really say about it? I mean, I hope Foley comes out and surprises me with some big heavy hitters here. I know they can do it. The question is, in this timeline, in this universe, is that what we're going to see today? Right, and that's the big question, because again, like you were talking about, you can't really be comfortable on a secondary that you're kind of we're just now seeing, right? You'd much rather uh, have that Buster Sword in your hand, by, uh, but the Yato seems to be doing pretty well here. Yeah, so everything seems to be going smoothly for Big Lake, almost going exactly to plan. I really don't got much else to say about it. I mean, looking back at that set... The corn was clean. It kind of just felt a bit like autopilot, to be honest. It's kind of, you know, yeah, going through the motions, definitely, definitely. which has some problems like we saw there with the uh, Beetle kind of losing that third stock, doesn't even get hit, just kind of falls off stage. That's kind of one of the downsides of autopilot. You make stupid mistakes like that. So hopefully Beetle locks in a little more, isn't going to get caught lacking uh, like that, because otherwise Foley might be able to turn some things around. Definitely. And, and one thing I do have to say, uh, shout out to Beetle for choosing uh, male corn over female corn. So I'm a big, uh, I'm a big male corn fan here, uh, in in uh, chat right now. I think he so, might be one of one. No, there's got to be another one because Beetle's Beetle's right there. Oh, that's true. Yeah, see, there you go. See, two of two, right? <laughs> two of two. Officially, two of two. Well, you're <laughs> one of two. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm fifty percent of all uh male corn lovers, and you know what? That's a prestigious title. If I do say so myself. Yeah, I mean, because all the uh, top corn players use the uh, female corn skin. Uh, Jadic, specifically, color Neo, eights. Sparko, End yeah. of List. Yeah, everybody goes for the color eights. That's kind of the insta lock for pretty much everyone. Right, no, but the blue corn, bro. He's so pretty. Well, I can see it. But we do got uh, fully repping the Kerbos on here with the hero. I believe we saw this last week. If I'm not mistaken. A dash attack trying to get into things uh, quick and get things started here. But with a fire, uh, fully charged fire aga. Uh, that's not what it's called. <laughs> that's Kingdom Hearts. What is it called in Dragon Quest? Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too quite sure. But we do see a dash attack here. Go, throwing out Hocus Pocus. Making us turn invisible. You're getting a little qu qu quirky here. Yeah, we're getting a little quirky a little wild. Right. I'm curious to see what we got here. Do you, what's the what's the fully charged uh, fire called in Dragon Quest? I have no idea. I've never played Dragon Quest in my entire life. Okay. I can't remember what it's... For some reason, because in Final Fantasy and uh, Kingdom Hearts, it's Fire Aga. But uh, for here, it's not It's not that. <laughs> but we do see uh, stock leads uh, being kind of just yoinked, right? Uh, Kerbosan has been able to keep up with Beetle's Corrin uh, pretty well, might I add, in even percent wise we're right back uh in the even even yeah already playing pretty well putting it back to even oh big opening here for beetle he's been really strong on those kind of bread and butter corn strings just kind of getting a classic 20 30 percent each time right i mean it's kind of really all you need to do play some patient get your nice easy strings off stage opportunity here uh keeps going for those back airs not really able to hit anything but we are able to uh, punish those uh, hero dash attacks. Not the bestest thing to approach with, if I'm going to be honest uh, with you. You could just, you know, back air, nair, uh, hear me out with hero. Don't don't move forward at all. Just keep cycling menu. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if, it, if it works, it works. We're trying to go for a snooze or thwack there. But Beetle going in quick there and finishing Ooh. things out with an aerial string into a back air, closing out that Kerbosan stock. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, this might be a Beetle 3 stock right here. All he's got to do is just kind of hold on and close out this last stock. However, Hero, he's got that kind of crazy X factor. He can hit a lot of stuff like that. Now an even, it's 0% game. Not what you wanted if you're fully, but you know, right now, Kerbosan got to make the most of it. Try to just take Beetle off this last stock. Do whatever he can. Oh, that's big. A lot of percent there. Right. Very big. We are low on MP at the moment, though, but it's okay. You know, we'll we'll get it back in no time at all. Uh, Beetle, I mean, if you really want to think about it, at kill percent because of whack and thwack and, like, crits and stuff like that. Yeah. 
So we could close this out if we just get really lucky. But again, uh, Big Lake's uh, Beetle is having such a good time of being able to put on this pressure uh, from this hero right now. Like with this uh, edge guarding with this like back air stuff and be able to read these rolls and stuff like that. Very nice job. Yeah, very clean, very nice. Ooh, the back air. Are we getting another? No, uh, not Why quite, not, not one quite. more? Why, why not another back air? Come on, give me. Papa needs a new back air. No, we aren't able to punish that dash attack. Kaboom. Oh, very Ooh. nice job. Uh, saving your jump. Psych up, but that's going to be kind of it for MP. Not going to be able to use a whole lot of other spells for a little bit at least. Especially in crunch time like this, you need all the help you can get. Right. Let's see if we find a way to close out this stock. Oh, the back air? Oh, all the way from downtown. Sends him out. Bye-bye. Beetle continuing the streak, only losing one stock per game here so far. And now Foley is on to its last player. And Big Lake hasn't even lost one yet. Right, it really seems like uh, Beetle has been uh, getting the final boss treatment, right? Uh, just You need everything in your power to whittle away Beetle's uh, stock count, it seems. Uh, so let's yeah. see if Foley can uh, take out Beetle, or if it's going to be a three-stock sweep while Big Lake only has one stock in their first uh, player. Only kind of got that, that last player left. Three stocks, you just got to close Beetle out, and then you have three stock to take out two other heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's CJ or Luigi and Ash Awesome, two pretty solid players that you got to beat back to back after dealing with this last stock for Beetle. And as we saw, Beetle is very, very good at kind of holding onto those stocks in the later hit situations. Going to be able to kind of just hold on again. Oh, so you know what? I do not envy the last Foley player right now. I'm sitting here. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, it's kind of wraps at this point. Foley yeah. needs a miracle. You need to play Smash Bros. better than anybody's ever played Smash Bros. before. Right. You need to unleash the inner demon, right? I don't know what you're hiding. I don't know what Foley's last player is uh, capable of, but uh, we're going to need to see some real magic happen if we need to see this comeback come to fruition. The comeback's got to be here. It's You, you right. got to you gotta go crazy. It is That's Monday. That's what I'm going to say. We, hey, it is Monday. That is true. The comebacks comeback are is... in the cards today. You're right. You know, it is Monday, so the comeback is always possible, ladies and gentlemen. You yes, never sir. know. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, hey, wouldn't you trust us? We're two studious but... individuals. I'd, I'd even trust Minty Guy. I would, too. I love Minty yeah. Guy. I, I mean, look at us. Two very, very uh, studious individuals right here. Yes. Look at us. And we, 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 do, we, do a, we do a lot of research around these parts. Right. My glasses uh, were uh, are very... Uh, I'm still learning uh, how to clean glasses. Um mm. All I see is fingerprints right now. Oh, they don't teach you that in glasses school. They don't. They Why can't there be a glasses teaching class in a high school? Wait, oh, hang on. Meta? Incineroar is actually a very good play because we could just kind of cheese with the revenge and take yeah, stocks I, at like 30. I agree, but however, it looks like we got a bit of a slideshow situation on our hands here. This is going to affect things a little bit here. If we got to play in this type of environment, this type of lag. Oh, this is... I don't know how well this is going to be for Beetle, all things considered. Adaptation, my friends. If you can play, if you can play on Wi-Fi, if you can play on LAN, you can play in a Google slideshow. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> we are just going through the motions here. Bro. On the bright side, my glasses are clean. Uh, that's true. So now I can uh, I can watch uh, my 60 uh, FPS eyes will uh, be able to fully encapsulate. Oh my! Oh, that's a that's a zero to death right there. I'm gonna see the O sevens in the chat for that one. Oh, uh, lots of JV four though. Yeah, you know, unfortunate really. Yeah. So um, what do you think this presentation's about? I think it's about. I think it's about the entropy of life and death. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what? Like yeah, I'm going to need you to pull out that ninth grade textbook and uh, show me show me something uh, in there. I, mean, I, I ain't about to have that convo. Because let's look at the life and death here. I mean, you got the life of Beetle. He's held on to life for so, so long. But here comes death, the Incineroar, the meta. Here in this 
slow mo situation. You know, where you can just throw out a bunch of super fast moves. Oh my god, this looks super speed right now. As yeah. we get back to finally regular speed, the Wi Fi's been cleared. You know, I wouldn't say regular. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, I see what you're saying now. This is definitely a little bit of a regular speed. We still have our jump, right? Oh, no. No. Uh oh. On last stock, 125%. I mean, the meta can definitely close out this stock situation. You're playing at Cinderor. A lot of your kind of just random hits are going to kill here, but Beetle. Nope, doesn't even matter. He's going to get caught by that upbeat. And now it's a one stock versus the world situation for Foley. Yeah, he, hey man. the meta has to prove why he is the meta today and turn things up. If you just hear me out, right? If you just, if you have another slideshow cooked up on, on, the, on your new Google tab, not, it's doable, right? It's doable. They'll never I... see the side B coming. That's all it's, I gotta say. It's technically, it's a non-zero chance. It's always a non-zero chance. But sometimes that number is so close to zero, you just round down. Yeah. However, you know what? I gotta talk to you right now. Meta. You got the ensign. You got the power. You're a wrestler. You're a fighter. You're incinerar! In the meta, you gotta start turning things up here. You knocked out kind of the, your big competition right there. You knocked out the guy who's been kind of beating your team there for a little bit. Now it's time to finally turn things up. Start going at it. You can start hitting those big moves. It's the time of the meta. You just gotta cook. Right, you gotta put on that chef hat. You gotta get that uh, pot in the pan. You gotta get that whisk. And you gotta start mixing. Right, we got. I, let's let's see me mix up those recoveries. Let's see. Let's see those neutral interactions. Right, the meta. I believe in the meta stocks. However, you know it might not be the best time to invest, <laughs> but I'm I'm waiting to be proved wrong. All right. Yeah. Hey. So, as businessmen like ourselves, what about uh stocks and income taxes? Right. Um, stocks and the business, and I gotta say the business, the business. Yeah. How's the how's, right now. how's the business? Our business is going excellent. Yes. Mm, the, the portfolio. Hmm. Yeah, the portfolio is looking pretty well. You know, I got a four point seven percent uh interest uh rate up uh within the next uh financial quarter of the year. Um, hey, it's looking we, rather well, if I do say so myself. A big business, I gotta say. We are we are big business individuals. A business boom, if you will. Yeah, but I'm trying to think about this in Sinroar, because you're locked into the instant, and I feel like it's a good character for a situation like this, because you need oh, some yeah. cheese. You we need some grade A quality mozzarella cheese. Oh, no. And you're going up against <laughs> another character who's got some grade A mozzarella cheese. Uh, dude, there's got to be some like provolone and some other type in within that mix, because uh, Ash Awesome is not a person you want to see on the other side of the battlefield uh, in this situation. One of the uh, on, best MNDL players. Something else. Right. Um, online K roll, man. Especially Ash, Ash Awesome, specifically. A very good online player. It just knows what to do. Yeah, gonna have to be uh, right now. Also, you gotta consider Incent. He's a character with a pretty bad recovery, all things considered. Right. K roll could just kind of hit the classic cannon, throw him out. That's kind of it. Right, you 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 hit the cannon. You quite literally uh, jump read once, and then he's gone. But he, we do have a little bit of rage cooked up. Not that much, but it's all right. Uh, you know, we're again we're investing like businessmen. We revenge the up B. Very interesting. Like we're looking for one side B right now, and we win. Right? Yeah. We have to get through that belly armor. We hit that side B. Like the K rule's dead. Instead, exactly. we go for oh, a tilt. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, right, you're just kind of trying to get as many hits as you can, right? Right, right, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'm really loving the use of the uh, the revenge here to just kind of power through all these projectiles. But uh, you can't power through a grab like longer. that. No, you can't. Okay, great punish. In creative punish, dare I say. Yeah, I really like that one. If you're going to catch up for the cannon? ledge. He's fine. I wasn't He's worried. Good. He's okay. No, I was no need to be worried. No, I wasn't worried. So at 171, uh, things are looking a little spicy. 
Okay. Ooh, uh -oh. great, great use of the, uh, uh -oh. the, the fair there. Yeah, I mean, it was predicted from the start, but Big Lake closes that one out. Dominant performance there, beating Foley and continuing their season. Yeah, that was kind of just what you expected. I mean... Right, again, like what we were talking about before, Big Lake, one of the best uh, schools in terms of uh, Super Smash Brothers within MNVL. It's, it's a hard uh, a hard team to fight, what can I say? Yeah, it's just kind of... What can you really expect, man? Mm -hmm. That's just kind of, you know, how, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's just how it f faces out, especially against a team of quality like Big Lake. I really don't got too much to say about it. The instant was cooking a little bit, but you just needed to see a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit more for some of the other players too. You just needed, you just needed more from Foley at the end there. At the end, it was just Big Lake able to kind of just autopilot and take that one out. Right, and speaking of the uh, more, I'm very excited to have more Super Smash Brothers action uh, coming up real soon uh, against two teams that I'm very, very excited for. Ooh, hey, it's going to be a good one. Don't right, go anywhere. Sure. We'll be right back after this quick break. What does it mean? to be a leader. At the University of North Dakota, we're here to find out. It's taking my first solo flight. Finding new ways to learn. Rolling up your sleeve. The world deserves leaders like you. Leaders ready to take the next step and make a difference. Because we lead our own way. Here at Concordia St. Paul, you will have the opportunity to earn a degree, make lifelong friendships, and play a game you love on an eSports scholarship. For more information, visit csp.edu slash eSports.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We have our final crew battles match of the night. And then after that, we moved on to Minecraft. Before we even think about getting into that, we gotta talk about this match up. We have a matchup between Lakeville North and John Marshall. Yes, sir. So a little bit of an interesting one for us, isn't it, folks? Because uh, uh, John Marshall is a little bit of a uh, unknown territory for us, I believe. But uh, LNHS, uh, there's some uh, names that we've definitely seen before, like a uh, Wing Dog Rider. Uh, Squiddy and Curran. I actually think we saw them last week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me let me double check that. Yeah, we did see them last week. Oh, um, did we? Yeah, we saw them against uh, Simley, which I believe Simley won that question mark exclamation no, point. Oh, LNHS. I just pulled it up. LNHS won 6-0. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, right. Big Good team. win there. Yeah, big yeah. win there for LNHS, meaning that only one player at the end of the day lost all three of their stocks. This could be another kind of situation like we saw last time because I am I really don't know much about John Marshall. I mean, they're kind of a a less well-known school. They don't really have a lot of kind of like big names out there. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Real kind of situation here where it could be another sweep. Or right, Lakeville North might kind of get a good run for their money. Who knows? Right, because I'm kind of looking at the tags right now, and I'm not really seeing a whole lot of, like, familiar faces. More of just, like, head scratches for me. Because you got Papyrus and Skeletor, which I'm not even going to question, right? We got pa Cat Party 9. Uh, you know, I prefer Mario Party 6, if I'm going to be honest with you, but that's okay. And then we got um, Sanans. Uh, well, how do you... How do you Stans. Snans. Stans. Yeah. S-N-A-N-S. Snans. Snans. You know, like from Undertale. Yeah, like but with an extra N in there. Yeah, for sure. I wonder I wonder if they play Terry as well. I wonder. Who knows? Who knows? I'm but excited also, to find out though. Yeah, I got some data. I've been looking at some statistics over here while you've been uh, Hit me with talking it. a little bit. Because it's important to note this uh John Marshall team, aka Rocket Smash. Hey, I always respect a team name. Mm -hmm. uh, lost in the preseason. Lost in their other preseason week. Had a bye week to recoup. This is their comeback week. Looking to make some moves. Starting off with the Snaz. Pyramithra. All right. Interesting. Whenever I see an Aegis hop on screen and they aren't playing Mithra right away, that's a problem. Immediately, yeah, it... that speaks fear into my heart that this person does not know what they're doing. However... Right, because... I have seen some people be able to play pretty all right with open and with the Pyra. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Maybe they just prefer Pyra against Terry or something. Who's to really to say? Incredible F-Smash to call out that uh, power dunk, though. That was really interesting, actually. We already got Ghost Saws uh, just about for Curran here. Just yeah, 21%. Almost. And Pyra's definitely going to get them to that pretty fast here. I mean, we will see, but... Oh, I'm not liking some of what I'm seeing here from Stance. I'm seeing a lot of wasting jump off ledge, mm -hmm. which is leading there, like we saw, to two extra good hits, but also just kind of randomly throwing out these smash attacks, up these things like that. That's just... Good, but... yeah. No, they're... Because they're very, very easily punished here. Luckily, though, Curran, not really with that wave right now, not really punishing much. Right there, oh, like Stance... Should not be getting out of a lot of these, but somehow finds a way. Curran takes that one, brings it back, but Snans instantly responds back. There we go. All right, now we get to see this Mithra. It's going to be interesting to see, but already hopping off ledge. Ooh, some questionable choices here. Right, for sure. And we finally switched that Mithra like you were looking for earlier. And we're seeing some pretty good uh, just neutral interaction reads uh, with the uh, Mithra. But switching back to Pyra to try and take it out of stock with these smash attacks in the uppies. But there, I think we're just going to get punished at the end of the day once again. Yeah, I mean, you gotta. At this point, Curran's really got to step up the gameplay here and get some punishes in. Because Snans is just kind of throwing out the whole playbook, not really using any safe options and it's kind of throwing everything out and but you know what it ain't broke so why fix it because right now Curran just isn't being able to punish any of it and it's a real problem Curran really gotta lock in here and start working on trying to fix some of these big attacks because you just gotta be able to punish man right 
and it's going to be really difficult to find a way to turn off uh, some of this, uh, you know, the, the go sauce and kind of the momentum that Curran's been having. But we do finally have an uppy out of shield, being able to take that Curran stock. And we do have a stock lead, but quickly being swifted out uh, by Curran, hitting with a very nice uh, spaced F smash. Okay, Ooh. very nice jab-jab power dunk, putting us to Getting into disadvantage. Nice what do you, so as the Aegis player, what are you looking for in neutral right now for this uh, Mithra? Not that. Yeah. Not, not side B. <laughs> side B is a bad move to use in neutral randomly because it is just so, so high pressure. That, however... I have to yeah, say, that's one of the rare examples of a good time to use side B. When you get a nice force set like that and you just need an instant quick response, you know, you can just throw out the classic, classy side B. No one's really going to expect it. It's going to work out pretty well. However, right. you also can't be doing that. You just can't be throwing out random moves like that. Living on a prayer, you got to have a little more thought in your game plan because otherwise Curran, with a nice parry there, is going to find a way. F Smash closes that one out. I mean, a stock lead here. But you were kind of hoping for maybe a little more going into this one. You're mm -hmm. currently undefeated, going up against someone who has not won an MNVL yet and kind of had a bye to be iced out. And then that happens. You're hoping for a little more, but you know what? I mean, you can't really complain. Seven to six, still a lead. Going into their next player, it's going to be interesting to see uh, who's coming up next. Right, I'm really excited to see what is going to be happening here because we got Sanan's starting things off strong with uh, John Marshall, but couldn't quite finish off that current. But I'm excited to see whether we got Cat Party 9 or Papyrus is Skeletor <laughs> for John Marshall. Did these tags, bro, they're getting to me. This is an Undertale-themed school, I feel like. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> it is just, I think these are, might be at least two are just Undertale-themed tags. For sure. <laughs> I I can we uh I mean if one of okay if one of them pulls out the uh sans me gunner I might pop off. Yeah. No. I yeah, that's fair. Uh cuz what's another undertale ish character? Oh, don't say Ness. Yeah. Um I mean you you know the thing about Ness though. Wait, what's the what's the thing about Ness? I mean he he's literally sans undertale. <laughs> Did you did you not see the, the Matt Pat video? The Matt the lore lore. Saints Undertale is actually secretly in Smash. Stop asking. He's secret. He's secret. You got to input. So so how do you unlock Sans in Smash? Right. You got to input a uh, secret oh code. My God. Why, um, why, why? I I fell for one of those rumors. Well, my brother fell for one of those rumors, and because I was a little little kid, I believed him, and because he was like, "Hey, Henry, do you know." What we need to do and spend our entire weekend doing is mm -hmm. that if you beat Subspace Emissary in Brawl without taking any damage, you can unlock Ridley. And I'm like, what? oh my god. It's time. The big dinosaur is finally making his way in Smash. We, How was we, it? We never, we never, we never. Yeah, that did. seems like a nightmare. Yeah, that we... seems like a nightmare to do. One that I thought was a uh, fake was uh, Jigglypuff randomly showing up in a uh, subspace emissary through like a secret door. You had to backtrack your way through a level to get. Or maybe it was Wolf or something. I forget which one. But it's either Jigglypuff or Wolf being a a a real doozy to unlock for a little old Wyatt to unlock in Brawl. You know what? We have the power of the internet. Let's look it up. Yeah, yeah. It was like you had to backtrack through like a jungle level, and then like a you had to hit a switch or something. And then like a secret door would appear, like in the middle of like nowhere. They'd have to backtrack through the level, and then like Jigglypuff would just like appear like on like, or maybe it was Toon Link or something. I don't know. It was Toon Link, Wolf, or Jigglypuff. It was one of those three, to like unlock them. Yeah, it, it's insane. I will tell you more, Lord. Oh my, wait. Perhaps they're perhaps they're all in person and they're just using uh, a different tag and using the same name. Perhaps interesting to note, but oh my god, the yes, Ness no. is real. Yeah, no. Undertale Sans is... Undertale is here. This is the power of commentary. I feel like, oh my word. I think I, we've I... we we've we definitely willed something into existence here. The theming, man. The theming. I know that pad is popping off right now. I know he's retired. He's got nothing better to do than to watch MNVL action. You know what? Yeah, we'll t I'll tweet at him. I got the MNVL Twitter pulled up. I'll 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 go on the on MNVL account and tweet. 
uh, at hey, why not? He'll respond. Yeah, definitely. He he supports high school esports. Yeah, he's a cool dude. So, what do you think of this uh, PK Thunder uh, action uh, cross stage? I don't feel great about it. I think it's innovative. Yeah. I think it's unique, and it's a new idea. Oh, why are we just? Oh, uh... <laughs> I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I freaking love Ness, bro. When I'm I... not fighting them. When I'm not fighting Ness, I love them. So why did he stop play- What? Wait. Okay, Curran. Curran. Why- Why did you stop- What is she doing? She stopped playing the game! She just stood there! Hey man, PK fires hard. You got a shield! Shield! Please! I can't tell I if mean, production was saying something or if they were hot mics. I, they're... they're oh. oh. Okay, now I get it. Apparently, messed up some stage bands. Uh, happens, you know. We were supposed to go to Smashville. Yep, you know, happens, happens, happens. We're it switching does. it up. Going to Smashville instead, but you know what? Now that we got this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to you about that wolf unlocked because I looked it up. Please tell me about my memory. How? how okay. What... Genuinely, so, I'm excited for this. First, you got to beat Subspace Emissary. You got to defeat Taboo. Do that whole deal. Sure. And then apparently to encounter Wolf, it's a one particular door in the ruined stage. Uh-huh. Don't leave me yeah. hanging. And then you have to defeat him in a one one livestock battle, and then it, Wolf will join your party. And it will unlock him in the game if you haven't unlocked Wolf yet, which you can do by uh, complete boss battles with Fox Falco, then defeat Wolf in a challenger match, or play a 450 brawls. Yeah, see, Little Wyatt thought the only way to unlock characters was subspace. That's actually awesome. Right, so I, I did everything in subspace when I was little because I thought, oh, yeah, that's how you unlock characters. Time to grind. That's how it should be in an ideal world. But all right, now we're starting this one off again. Oh, no. Oh, uh, whiffs the uppy while offstage gets thrown into special fall. That's an early stock take there for Curran. She's got to be happy with that one. I mean, it's just one easy stock for free. Why not? I mean, I'll take it. Sure. Like, if I'm in a crew battle, I ain't complaining. Down throw. What do we lead it into? Ooh, nice combo extension with that power wave. I like that. So you have time to do. Oh, can't do the up B recovery again. That's really unfortunate. Oh, mm. I don't. I don't know if we want to show this next gameplay to Matt Pat. Two yeah. SDs in a row. That's just so unfortunate. But you know, you gotta lock in. You gotta shake it off. So we're coming back into this one. Right. I mean, receipts I mean... basic here. Trying to kind of just. You know, hit whatever, time out, hopefully take this stock. I mean, one PK fire is always going to take, use that in the opening to get a nice S smash. Right, I mean, we saw that last game. Like, last fake game. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not quite sure on the wording there. The the uh, the kind of game. Yeah. When, yeah. Whatever that was, that's what we saw. That's kind of your game plan right now. You can hit that side B. You can close this thing out, but you cannot lose this stock right now. Otherwise, your team is going to have so much trouble. But all oh, for the third time, the upbeat just goes in the wrong direction. It's oh. a son of a gun that upbeat. I will say, like genuinely, it is like it is a hard move to master. Yeah, that's why I kind of stay away from nets and stuff like that because the, the upbeat is just not fun, especially when you mess it up like that. But three times in a row, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, unfortunate. I think it's fine, unfortunate until yeah. you mess it up, right? Because in my experience with Ness and Lucas, it works beautifully until it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is also pretty edge guardable. It's pretty much you have to stand still off stage for a bit and then move in a straight line. Yeah. Back to my, stage. So My yeah, favorite it, thing to do when fighting Ness or Lucas is uh, since, you know, I'm Sora for context. I float I uh, and I hit the counter button and then I kill them at any percent. And then I go, yippee, 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 yippee. But now, John Marshall off to their last player. Mm -hmm. Curran, you know, possibility of a clean Doing God's here. work, man. Doing yeah. God's, taking six <laughs> stocks all by their lonesome. Like, holy, bro. 
I like, mean, shout outs to her. Yeah, we could see the uh, some someone just close all this stuff out. We could see just like, yeah, this could be over. This could be over real quick. Mm-hmm. John Marshall, I, I'm actually wondering what's the holdup. You don't really got much to talk about. You just got to go. Right. Get in there. So, uh, did we do we think Papyrus was uh, the Ness or do we think Cat Party Nine was the Ness? I think Papyrus. Yeah, that's I fair. I think Papyrus. I mean, we also don't even know if Snans was the first person who played. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wait. So, wait. What, what do you I'm think? Thinking... What, what, so Ness is like, it's kind of like I'm Ness, thinking... but spelt wrong. So maybe Snans was actually actually ness i yeah. i think we're on the same page here i think we're on the same page we okay. we see the script here right and so cat party nine since aegis isn't related to undertale uh wait that's the that's the xenoblade guy is aegis related to undertale <laughs> gotcha you know just just no. crossing my eyes dot my t's you know uh crossing my what and dotting my what what am i doing you're doing something, my friend. I'm doing something, all right. I think they're coming up with new letters there. Yeah, you know, they call me an innovator. But uh, <laughs> I, we're also innovating uh, some new MNVL uh, characters. I genuinely think this is, like, one of the first times we've seen Lucario ever. Actually, on stream? Yeah, we have not seen a lot of Lucarios on stream. I mean, I played a Lucario my, f- like, one year of MNVL competition. Really? Uh, yeah, they had the worst Wi-Fi I've ever seen in my entire life, but that's besides <laughs> the point. I remember, the only memory I have, actually, no, the one of the most prominent memories I have of playing in MNVL was uh, sweating uh, everything uh, I could to try and beat someone with Shulk because I thought Shulk was cool. I remember your Shulk days. I've seen the VODs. Oh, no, you don't. They, you can, they can't hurt me. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, you, you scared I me. That I, thought thought we be, were... I thought that was going to be the fourth uppy whiff in a row. Different yeah. characters, same problems. <laughs> Different characters, same problems. Why did you Why did you will that into existence? Why did you do I that? I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, John Marshall. I am cursing your school right now. <laughs> They're going to have an anti-gummy ritual later to <laughs> cleanse themselves. Oh, I'm sorry. Egan banned from John Marshall. <laughs> It's Real official. Talk-up. We're starting the school rivalry. Yeah, I'm down. I'm about it. Okay, nice uh, crouching uh, uppy, holding down to kind of get that extra damage. I like that. Yeah, I have to say these uh, the nair approaches and the uh, down tilt strings have been pretty clean here from Curran. No, absolutely. All in all, I've liked that kind of way to approaching with the aerial because nobody's really been able to punish it yet. We have not seen any anti airs like at all. Yeah, especially when you're about to kill with like the very next power dunk that connects right now. Yeah. Oh, and that special fall. Oh, but Curran whiffs it. Dash attack, though, cleans it up. Looking to be a little messy, but now 7-1. to one. All Curran has to do is just take one more stock. Okay. Surely we pop off if Curran gets defeated, right? I mean, I don't know. I feel like it'd be more hype if Curran finds a way to close this one out. A 7-0 run, acing for the entire team. That is something to celebrate. That would be right gnarly. Now. Yeah, that would be pretty gnarly. But we're keeping things real close here. Punishing yeah, also, that, uh, gotta consider. Wolf. Gotta consider Lucario comeback factor. We haven't talked about it yet, but the more down Lucario is, the stronger all his moves get. No the way, power that's nice. Geyser! Wow! The power of Go compels you. Curran with a clean sweep. Wow, doesn't even have to have any other teammates that entire time. Closes that one out. Lakeville North, 7-0, continuing the kind of 2-0 run they have this season. Wait, what a monster. Kurt? What a monster. Kurt, Kurt played is. great. No, I, Kurt I, I, is an I, absolute I, legend. I was, was kind of trashing Kurt a little bit that first game. I'm like, man, get hit by these upbeats, by these random F smashes. Really, man, really? But no, she turned it on. Played great, closed that one out. Congratulations to Lakeville North. John Marshall, unfortunately, not getting their first win of the season yet. Going to have to get back in the lab, keep working it out. Right. Come back stronger next time.
exactly no the last the you know training just learning kind of what to do in certain situations is the big uh thing you got to keep in mind with this game right because there's so many different scenarios you can be with so many different characters interacting with each other it's really hard to keep things all all in that one noggin of yours so having those having three people and able to kind of kind of siphon through all that knowledge that's really beneficial but just i i believe i believe that john marshall will put one on the board we'll see next week for sure yeah, I believe, I believe, but you know what? That's going to be it for Super Smash Brothers content tonight. It's been a pleasure being here tonight. However, we do got to kind of hand the baton over to the Minecraft stream. Uh, they'll be coming up next with a wonderful Minecraft game. Wyatt will be there. Oh, Lefevre. True! Uh, this way. Yeah, yes, there we go. Wyatt Lefevre will be there. I will not be, so you know what? I'll see you guys next week. We'll be right back after this quick, quick break. What does it mean to be a leader? At the University of North Dakota, we're here to find out. It's taking my first solo flight. Finding new ways to learn. Rolling up your sleeve. The world deserves leaders like you. Leaders ready to take the next step and make a difference. Because we lead our own way. Here at Concordia St. Paul, you will have the opportunity to earn a degree, make lifelong friendships, and play a game you love on an eSports scholarship. For more information, visit csp.edu eSports.
Hello and welcome to MNVL Minecraft Week 2. I'm Frog Pixel. I'm joined by my amazing friend Lefever. How are you doing? I'm done watching some awesome Super Smash Brothers action, and I'm excited for Minecraft Week 2 here. Starting things off strong with Roseville versus Little Falls. Yep. What we know about these guys is that, you know, I, I don't know if Little Falls played last season, but I know Roz was the champions last season, so that that's that's something to look out for for this Little Falls team. Um, mm -hmm. From what I know, I haven't seen any of them. I'm trying to look at the names. There's only like one that hits my mind and is like, oh, I might know, but I don't think Little Falls played last season. Th I think I'm thinking of different games that I was um, casting. So I wonder. No, I I don't think yeah. uh, Little Falls was uh, up here for uh, Minecraft last season. Okay, it yeah, and I think they have two teams, which is kind of crazy. That sounds about right. That, that sounds I like that, if you told me that on the street, I'd believe it. <laughs> I. I I believe it too, because like if if you went up to me on the street, you know, walking down uh, the road, saying, "Hey, look here, did you know that in MNVL, uh, Little Falls has two teams?" I'd go, "Wow, wow, 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 <laughs> wow." <laughs> so we will get into the game as fast as we can. I don't know, sure, but well, I I do I do know a couple of the players on the Roseville squad. You know, I've personally mm -hmm. known them, known one for. A good little bit, you know. Um, yeah, you got some buddies. I got some buddies, you know. I, oh, nice. I, 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 ha I make my friends around this community because, you know, it's a game I played a lot. So don't mind me. You know, I'm not minding it. Oh, uh, thank you. What? You know, it's getting a lot. It's getting a little uh, toasty in here in uh, the uh, in the fever den. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's like 65 degrees. So yeah, here, Alexa, what's the weather like? Oh. Sixty-five degrees. Yes, sir. Let's go. You see, I'm just the meteorologist like that, man. And you expect a few clouds in the sky. Uh, something, something, thirty-five degrees. Yep, cloud stuff. Said, said, I, said the fancy robot. Yeah, and I am seeing that Little Falls does have two teams. I didn't mm -hmm. like use my eyes enough to notice that this says JV down down here. Uh, blow me. And that would mean that there's a varsity and a JV. So that explains the two teams. That, that explains it a lot. And then we have those really area high schools, almost pillagers, which is great. I, I am going to say, I think this is Monomedi, 90, 1997 Toyota Corolla is a team name. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't, I don't get the I don't joke. Get it. it has to be a joke, like Bubblegum Boys. We've gone around that before because their teacher like like bubble gum and they brought like a huge tub of bubble i still have the big tub of bubble gum like right show or show it's not real okay okay <laughs> no way th th this this is from state they gave this to me <laughs> there's still so much left in it that's right don't mind like the noise it was factory sealed and there's still a lot left where'd they find that you get them on amazon for like 20 bucks 40 bucks i don't know i think you can buy them from like the double bubble hubble bubble double bubble the bubble gum americans original website thing yeah i'm gonna put this down that's a lot of words you said there my friend and i don't know how accurate those are but you know, um, i finally trust you nonetheless they're probably not accurate but yeah i will tell you games that have already been completed you i don't know if you're i don't know if you know the thing about uh, twin cities academy like from last year do you, uh, do you I'm remember not familiar. Anything? Try me, try me. So they came in going. I'm pretty sure they went undefeated in the regular season, mm -hmm. and they were. A, they had two teams. They had a gold team and a blue team. The gold team was honestly just really good, and okay, we were like me and Constantine. We were like, yeah, these guys look like a good favorite for state, and. They fell in the semifinals to, I believe it was Rubster Panda and SLP. I don't know if it was them or Roz, but they did get sure. third. They won the, they won third place. Okay, that's place. nothing to scoff at. Yeah, third that place. really isn't anything. To scoff I think at. I think I do remember that at the trophy ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they they won their week two match. I'm a, I'm pretty sure they won their week one match. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. going by games I've already finished. I have 
Jordan, which is a new which is a new team for Minecraft, beat out Tracy okay. Area High School, who I think we saw last week, unless I'm going crazy. Um, and then Central, which is the Bubblegum Boys, as I saw, the, as I showed you the the thing of Bubblegum. The monstrous piece of candy. The, the monstrous piece of candy. Yeah, they beat Burnsville. And all this is 2-0, and we had one forfeit, which, you know, it's it's spring break. I'm surprised this these many teams would be playing, you know? Right. Because, you know, <laughs> spring exactly. break. No, yeah, spring break is a bit of a nuisance when it comes to uh, scheduling. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that players are able to uh, come around and be able to either reschedule or find uh, ways to, you know, play their matches. So good, good, good job for everyone being able to play their matches yeah. today. Yeah. It I makes uh, my job on the admin side a whole lot easier, <laughs> even though I'm doing nothing right now. So shout yeah. out to the admins yeah. who are actually working right now. Shout outs to admins. Ad admins are amazing. Production's amazing. You're amazing. Minecraft's amazing. Oh, no, amazing. you're amazing. You're amazing, Frog. <laughs> Don't worry about I'll it. I'm saying everything's amazing. Everything's yeah, amazing. Yeah, we, we can just, we can blanket statement. Yeah, every, uh, everyone's Yeah, let's amazing. blanket it. Um, what I do know, I will actually correct myself on the spring break thing. I know some districts and schools don't have spring break this week. I know most of them, like my district does, but I know I know that not all of them do because next week is one of my friends' spring breaks, and I'm that that Friday to the to the Monday we're going to we're going to take a trip to Chicago. So Ooh, that's super fun. Have you ever been to Chicago before? No, the furthest I've been was LA over the summer. And that was the first time I actually traveled out of the state in a number of years. It feels like it's been whole my whole life. But no, I've been to Michigan a few times other than that. Okay, yeah, very nice. Yeah, I've been to Chicago quite a few times. Uh, some uh, smash stuff and some just uh, exploring the Midwest, I guess. It's a very lovely city. I hope you have a good oh time. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to I want to explore more of the Midwest too. And yeah. it, when I go to Chicago, it means I went to the second and the third most populated city in America. And now it's just the first, which is New York. Unique New York, may mm -hmm. I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New York's on the bucket list myself. I oh, could yeah. have gone this year, last year, but I just wasn't in the cards. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, I do, I do know that um, one of my friends, they're planning a trip. They planned a trip to Japan. Like, something, it was long in the making just bought the tickets one and a half thousand for a for a round trip which see which in which from what i was seeing was about was about how much that's a lot of the balloons that's a lot that's of a, the balloons that's a lot of the balloons <laughs> that's a couple of the balloons <laughs> yeah maybe like one or two yeah and here's the funny thing they booked a trip where they go first to toronto and then take an air canada flight to japan which kind of seems. Why backwards. do they get way all over it in <laughs> Canada? Because you're going east to go west. Right, you're going up like a few minutes. Just <laughs> I okay. have a road map here, I, like right yeah, on yeah, this wall. Yeah, is yeah, a yeah. No, I'm so... picturing it as well. I don't, I don't, I don't think I quite understand that one. I don't think the yeah, math is I think is you're mathing. gonna have to question those friends here a little bit. <laughs> but I'm also questioning uh, production. How? Uh, how how we looking? How we looking? What's the ETA? Okay, okay. So it l looks like we're having some issues with getting whitelisted in the server, which I guess is one thing that's not good about whitelisting. But it's so much better. It's so it's so good in so many other ways where people who aren't in the league can't join and mess it up for everyone. You know, Lefever. So true. So true. So true. Uh, so yeah, you know, it, it's a it's a necessary it's a necessary thing, yeah. you know. But it is what it is. Exactly. It is. it is what it is for sure. But uh, we're gonna try to find a way to figure out what we can do to kind of speed things up. So we'll be right back after this break. So don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back after this break with some Minecraft action. What does it mean to be a leader at the University of North Dakota? We're here to find out. It's taking my first solo flight. Finding new ways to learn. Rolling up your sleeve. The world deserves leaders like you. Leaders ready to take the next step and make a difference. Because we lead our own way.
Rise and Apple Valley are going to do it. They're going to be the first team to win four state titles. Up very close oh. here. Very nice spot that's going through that. And we oh. fair. Goes straight in over the wide, but Chloe will get the rebound. Then Eakin has a two goal lead right there. Then it's open oh. and it is gone. They're still on some health. We'll go in and there you go. The Pillagers will be your Evan. Here at Concordia St. Paul, you will have the opportunity to earn a degree, make lifelong friendships, and play a game you love on an esports scholarship. For more information, visit csp.edu/esports.